Luis Ogana has always been a tidy kind of guy. But recently he's been particularly eager to make a smart impression. When I finish school, I want to be a scientist because I'm interested in social sciences, history, so I want to inf investigate about the history of this land because it gave me identity. I just want to know myself. He has a one-hour journey to school every morning. It's the only secondary school for miles around and located in the village of Maveso, the birthplace of the man whose name it proudly bears, Nelson Mandela. Oyezo is a little late today. Morning prayers have already commenced. The Mandela School of Science and Technology represents a great opportunity for Loizo and his 420 fellow pupils, the chance to qualify for college. Many of the children have to learn English first, and nearly all are sitting at a computer for the first time, learning key skills for a promising future. My dreams in life are I want to be an engineer to build some houses for some people who are some poor people in, in some villages. I have a claim to be a doctor because I like, I like to take care with people. The school focuses on engineering, technology and agriculture. It has a 24-strong teacher corps. The school's entire budget is covered by German engineering giant Siemens, to the tune of around half a million euros yes. a year. Do you see? It lights up so nicely. When I was little, I used to love science. So most of the time I used to watch these videos at home about experiments, and I wondered what it was like to do it. At the end, I ended up liking it, so I decided to become a teacher so that I can teach it to everyone else. It is way much better than the schools that have been before because the schools have more equipment, more learning resources, like it, it got the labs, the library and everything. I've learned so much today because I've learned how to connect the cells, series and parallel. And that means so much to me. While there's still construction work to be completed, the foundations for the technology leaders of tomorrow have been laid. And South Africa urgently needs them, especially in rural areas. Most people here have no electricity or running water. Many cannot read and write, and one in three are out of work. There's a clear deficit of engineers, draftsmen, and technicians. Glenn Ramo runs an electrician's business with a workforce of 35. Finding skilled workers is a huge challenge. We're just battling to find decent supervisors. Supervisors that take the company at heart and interest and monitor and mentor other people. So I think schools like Nelson Mandela or any school, technical school, train the people with the management skills. I'm sure they can be beneficial to us in the future. 5,2 is a rational number. He will need people like Loizo, even if Loizo has other ambitions than being an electrician. Mandela said education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It's a vision that has secured Loizo his chance at school. Mandela, he has liberated the whole country. He has brought us free education. And I just want to do that in the future. I want to be like him. His school is a flagship project and one the country needs many more of. That's why Loizo is already considering becoming a teacher himself one day.